Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Crash Landing for episode 39 and we are very, 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 very close to wrapping this thing up. We have completed the first three quest lines, basic survival, under pressure and technological revolution. All we have left to do now is the last half of creating life and all of getting back to the moon, which incidentally is not that long of a quest line. So first things first, we have a few more quests to finish up in here. Uh, since last episode, I have been, I would say pretty busy, but not really that busy, just sort of left this thing running for quite a while, coming back every so often, making sure our water's filled up, making sure we've still got burgers to eat and stuff like that. And yeah, that's kind of all I've been doing. I left this going for such a long time. We now have 14 diamonds. You can see we've got one, two, three, four, five stacks of iron, which say we only had four, so we've got four stacks. Uh, every single stack of these, we, come back, we make it a little four by four square, don't we, to make it into one block of iron. But then we send it through to the um, high oven, which is then going to triple it. So we have effectively three stacks of iron there. And basically what I've been doing as well as coming back and make sure, make sure, making sure even that we are uh, fed and watered and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've also been putting a bunch of ingots into the system. And if we have a look now, we have a ton of pretty much everything. Uh, apart from maybe, well, ferrous and gold, I guess. But we have like 500 of everything, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, and kind of actually really useful for what we're going to do next, which is building the rocket. So... First things first, without further ado, let's go ahead and make ourselves the chamber. This guy down here, we need to get ourselves a shell storage. Okay, that is easy enough. Shell storage, I am pretty sure we are almost there. Just need uh, four obsidian apparently as well and one of those. Boom, boom, done. Okay, so that's ready. Then we just need four obsidian, which means we just need some water. I am pretty sure we still have enough lava over in the uh, barrel over here. To make things happen so this should be fairly easy we are going to need some water however that's kind of a, kind of a given let's grab you thank you very much how are we doing for water we are out okay we will replace that boom 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 i love this thing i love how fast it is it was a pain having to craft all those uh, water bottles every single time but uh, but this is so much easier okay here we go i feel like we've done this far too often this uh this whole obsidian making thing it's one of the things like i feel i should have made oh go oh, no 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 yeah, I feel like I should have made some sort of unlimited water, uh, unlimited obsidian system. Uh, you can see the skeletons are getting in now because we got rid of the flipping torches. Go away. Yep, yeah, just 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 fall down. Thanks, thanks for that. Okay, take you, take you. Thank you very much. Rinse and repeat. Ah, oh, we don't have enough lava. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Come on, you're not, you're not. Yeah, you're not getting me. You're not. Yeah. I'm, no, 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 no. Oh, we, oh, we made it so long. We went so, so long on eight lives. We had eight lives left for such a long time. And this this mother trucker just had to go and ruin things, didn't he? He just had to go and ruin things. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we'll grab a bunch of cobblestone. We'll fill up this, uh, this thing here. Uh, get some more lava going. And we'll come back and fix that at the end of the episode, I think. So, we should have some cobble lying around in here. There we go. Go ahead and fill this guy up. Actually, let's get a... Do we have like a hopper? Or a gopper, you know? Yeah, we've got vacuum hopper. Not really what I'm after. We'll make a hopper. We've got enough iron. So, boom. Boom. You know, <laughs> it's one of these things we've been struggling with all the way through the series here is wood. There we go. We never seem to have enough uh, planks there. So boom, boom, and boom. It gets us a hopper. We'll go ahead and stick this guy in over here. And then we can go ahead and finish up some of the other quests and come back to this in, in a bit. So we'll stick you on there. We'll throw you guys in there. And, and that's going to do its thing. So the next one on the list and the other remaining ones are pretty much just a mob essence and emeralds. I, I know for a fact we're going to need a block of emeralds to get ourselves a villager. So, boom, that gets the block of emeralds. And then we're going to need the QDS. Or the quest delivery system. There we go. Thank you very much. And we're also going to need some fluid ducts. Crescent hammer we've got. And a server might well be needed as well. So, we'll take you. Okay, so we should just be able to do something like this. That's going to start putting Morrisons into there straight away, which we don't want to do just yet. Let's do villagers. Select task. Boom. 
That's going to start doing its thing. We have more than 100,000, so we are fine. Throwing the block of emeralds, and we should be pretty much good to go. That's on 50%, uh, 60% going up. And apart from that, all we have left to do is the horse, which requires uh, some more medicines, some leather, and some oats. Now, these oats were the biggest pin in a in the backside to get ever um, so for those who don't know the way you get seeds on crash landing if it's something that you can't craft or you can't get by sifting what you need to do is you need to make a hoe so let me go ahead and uh, make a hoe of any kind uh, let's go with I don't know an iron hoe because we've got a bunch of iron you need to grab yourself a hoe and you need to go and find some grass and I did this a long while ago, by the way, and I basically took down most of the grass we have here and let it spread back out. Uh, so basically, all you got to do is that, and that gets you winter squash seed, which you wouldn't get before. So I went ahead and made a bunch of cobblestone hoes, went around, did all that, and eventually managed to get myself some oat seeds, which are now sat over here growing. Uh, basically, all you have to do is just sit here and do this, and you can just get yourself infinite amounts of, of crops it's it's pretty insane so there we go got ourselves a bunch of oats all we gotta do head back over here throw the qds back down link the quest and we are good to go so you can go on there we will quickly link you up select task link i'm not sure how many of those we needed we needed four so we got a bunch we need four leather which shouldn't be too hard to get we got 128 there, and we got like a couple more stacks uh, in the bowels over there, so that's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. You're in there. That's actually empty now, but which is uh, a bit of a pain. But that's fine because I'm pretty sure that that is it. I think we are done for for quests that require mob essence now. Let's have a look. That is done. Oh, there are more quests. Okay, let's claim that. Let's claim that. Do 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 do. We can throw you away into here. We don't need half of this stuff. Uh, you can go. You can go. You can go. Uh, what do we have now then? We have uh, iron armor, golden armor, and diamond armor. Okay. So basically six iron, six gold, and six diamonds. Okay. That's like the easiest thing in the world. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll go grab those six diamonds, which we have in this chest from the gravel. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then manual submit. Manual submit and manually submit. Nice. Ninety-one percent complete. So that should be pretty much good to go. All we need now is uh, is the lava. I don't even know what you use horse armor for. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, I assume to make horses stronger, but it's uh, a vanilla feature that I've never really used. So we've got pretty much all of those now, apart from one up, which requires the obsidian. Let's go do a quick check and see if we are uh, good to go on this thing. All we need is 3,000 millibuckets of lava, which we may or may not have. Let's see. Uh, we have it. Nice. Okay, so we'll do this, and we will complete this quest. I've got to stop shifting when I do that. It's because with the water, I have to shift to put it down on top, but then with every with the lava, I don't have to shift, and I just keep messing it up. Okay, grab. Don't shift. There we go, Isaac. You get in this. You get in this. There we go. That's three, and last one here. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. We'll leave that water there. We might as well do. And that is it. We are pretty much, once we hand this in, done for all of the default quests on Crash Landing. And we have pretty much completed this pack. So we'll head on over here. We'll get ourselves a shell construction chamber. Boom, boom, boom. Shell storage. Boom. Four obsidian. Boom, boom, boom. Done. And... Done. Nice. Look at that. All four of those quest lines are complete, and we are pretty much done. Now, all we have to do is get back to the moon. So, in order to get back to the moon, we are going to need a few things. We're going to need a rocket. Now, in order to get a rocket, we're going to need a plethora of things, including water, which... Oh, we didn't put the camel pack on. Jeez. I was wondering why that... I'm going to say that couldn't have run out that fast. Flipping heck. Okay, so in order to do that, we need the rocket. That's kind of the main thing. Kind of necessary. And, and this is all we really need. We also need, like, launch pads, national workstations, all that kind of stuff that are going to require silicon and oil. And they are kind of things that we can't get on, on the crash landing there. So we have some nice quests that are, that are going to get them for us. So, first things first, we should probably get ourselves a NASA works... Uh, workbench? Workbench. I was going to go workstation. And for that, we're going to need some compressed steel, some crafting table, uh, some leathers, levers even, geez, I can't talk today, and an advanced wafer, which is going to require a circuit fabricator and a compressor. So, circuit fabricator, boom, geez, do we have the stuff? No, <laughs> okay, we need a furnace, done, we need a redstone torch, done, we need some aluminium wire, done? Oh, really? 
Really? I think we have a sheep over here that we can we can uh, go to town on to get our wool. Yes, here we go. You, my friend, are a lifesaver. If you drop some wool, actually, we should probably get some shears and make sure we don't. Yeah, let's not let's not kill this guy because we might need more wool in the future. Let's get some uh, some shears. And let's just grab the wool off this guy. This will get us more wool. And I mean, we can get the wool back later on if we need it. Thank you. If you could just stay there, that would be beautiful. Let's go ahead and go. Boom. Luckily, that gets us six. So we should be pretty much good to go. We'll take two buttons. And boom. Circuit fabricator. Done. Nice. So we could throw this guy down wherever we want. Uh, there, because the uh, power input's on the left for whatever reason. Uh, and now we see the diamond, two silicon, and a redstone. I think that recipe is right. Let's have a look. NASA workbench. We are going to need a diamond, two silicon, a redstone, and a redstone repeater. So let's go ahead and quickly make ourselves a redstone repeater. I think we have all the stuff. Uh, apart from the redstone torches. Nice. So we'll take those. We'll take some redstone. And then we're going to need some silicon and a diamond. The diamonds are over in the chest. And silicon, uh, there's actually no way to make silicon. So we have to consult our quest book and look at this one here. So we can get a piece of silicon for five compressed iron, which is a bit pricey, but not too bad. we got a stack of compressed iron there. We can request more, I believe. I'm fairly... S ah, we didn't... Hmm, do we... I don't think we taught it how to make compressed iron, did we? No, we didn't. We could teach our system how to make compressed iron. We might not need it, though. Let's go ahead and land your submit. Claim reward. We can do this a few times over. It's a repeatable quest. Get rid of you. And we should be good. So we'll grab a diamond and we'll get to work. So we'll take you. Thank you very much. Throw you in here. And boom. 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 Boom, boom. That's going to go to work. Now, the next thing we're going to need is an ingot compressor. Now, I'm fairly certain that we need the um, non-electronic compressor in order to make the electric compressor. Yeah, because in order to make the electric compressor, we need compressed uh, ingots. So, the normal compressor is pretty pricey, actually, but not too bad. We're going to need uh, an anvil. There we go, flipping. It's a pain because also, like it switches between anvils that you uh, can make and anvils that you can't. Which is, because you can use broken anvils, but yeah, it's just, it's a pain. So, we need an anvil. Boom. Good thing we have a ton of iron. And then we're going to need a basic wafer, which is another diamond, another redstone torch, two more silicon, and another redstone. So, redstone torch. Let's just quickly make another one of those. Some more redstone. Going to need another piece of silicon. We should probably keep the compressed iron on us at all times. That would probably be a good idea. Thank you very much. You are done. And then all we need to do is, again, redstone, silicon, silicon, redstone torch, and another diamond. And we are good to go. So I'll throw you in there. That's going to run, hopefully, a little bit faster than the old one. We should now be able to make the... Do we have what it takes to make the NASA workbench? No, we need some compressed steel. Okay. Uh, in order to get steel, we are actually going to need to, uh, to take this iron. And I believe we can combine this with charcoal in the uh, the smeltery there in order to make ourselves some steel. So if I were to grab, like, a couple of stacks of charcoal, I think one charcoal, four charcoal and one iron actually combines together in the induction smelter here to make some steel, which is not the fastest way, I don't think, to make this, but it's actually probably the most efficient because we've got a ton of, of charcoal. So luckily we get three of those, which is quite nice. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a compressor. One of you. Boom. Boom. And I'm fairly certain we just made an anvil. We did. It just didn't want to come in. There we go. Compressor done. Now, this guy runs on coal. Luckily, we have some charcoal on us. So, let's go ahead and put you down over here. I don't think it really matters where you put it. We'll throw you in there. And we will start to cook up some steel, which we get from here. Do we have any lying around still? I think we do not. Okay. Okay. I thought we might have some because I remember we did make some steel uh, earlier on. So, we'll throw you in there. That's going to start to make some steel. Compressed steel. And maybe some more, possibly. One more gets a nice even number, which uh, which is always good. Thank you. So we'll throw that in there. Boom. That's going to get us a total of three. I think we need a total of four 
to make our NASA workbench. We do. We need four crafting table, two leathers, and a redstone torch. Do we have two more uh, steel? We should do. This 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 might take a while. We'll, we'll throw this in here. Boom. And the reason I say it might take a while is because the rocket needs a lot of compressed steel, as well as a bunch of compressed aluminium and a bunch of pressed compressed bronze as well. So this this could take a while. But uh, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and make a crafting table. Combine that with all of this stuff, which we don't have. Wow. Okay. Combine that with a lever, two levers. And redstone torch. There we go. Boom. Boom. And boom. Nice. We got ourselves a NASA workbench, which I think I'm going to go ahead and put down here. All right. Smack bang in the center. We don't have a center. Let's just put it over there. That looks not enough room. What? What could you could you give it back to me then? Maybe. <laughs> you know. I mean, like, like, could I have it back? Possibly. I think I might have to relog this one sec. <laughs> okay, let's try this again, but a little further forward. Maybe there. Nice. Okay. So, now what we need to do is we need to fill this up with a rocket. So, if I'm not mistaken, and my memory is uh, as good as it was, we need a nose, uh, four fins, an engine, and then eight uh, heavy-duty plating in the middle there. So, if we go to Galacticraft, uh, here we go. We're going to need a bunch of these heavy-duty plates. Because they are pretty much in everything. The nose requires three of them. The fins require four of them. The engine requires four of them. We need a ton of these. We need, I think, a stack of these heavy-duty plates. Which means we need at least two stacks of compressed steel, compressed aluminium, and compressed bronze. Which means we need to be compressing for an awful long time. So, what I'm probably going to do is, between this episode and next, I'm going to go ahead and just compress a ton of, of stuff here. Because we're going to need uh, to compress a bunch of this... Um, the steel, which requires a bunch more charcoal, a bunch of iron. In order to get bronze, we're going to have to um, probably use the induction smelter again to combine the uh, the tin and the copper to make bronze. Uh, aluminium, luckily enough, we do already have a bunch of, uh, of aluminium in here. We've got 700 aluminium Gs, so we'll take two stacks of those, and we can pretty much get the, uh, the two stacks of, of aluminium we need right now. That's going to go ahead and do that. Which is fine. If we get ourselves an electric compressor, which I think we're also probably going to get, then we can uh, compress things a little bit faster. But it does require some compressed bronze, some more compressed steel, and a bunch more stuff. And I'm pretty sure we need even more compressed steel for things like the um, the fuel loader and, and and stuff like that. Let's have a look. We've got oxygen detectors. Fuel loader requires more steel. Refinery requires more steel. We need a ton of steel. So... What I might do, I think we can actually make it using the Tinker's Smeltery, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if we look up steel, block of steel from Tinker's Construct uh, can be made with molten steel, which I'm hoping can be made. Steel sword. Hmm, I'm fairly certain there should be a way to uh, to make steel using the Tinker Smeltery over there. So, what I think we're going to do is, we are, I'm probably going to go ahead and, uh, and just wait for this to, uh, to make up a bunch of this stuff. We could, I guess, make more induction smelters, but I don't really think that's worth it. Uh, we could probably just work with one. Uh, one thing that we are going to have to do is get ourselves some oil. Now, you probably saw in, in the quest book there that we have a quest called oil prints which is our way of getting oil if you have a look get it back to the moon we have done a third of the quests already we need to do oil prints which is an extremely wealthy oil prince he's willing to sell you some of his oil but uh, for a price we need 256 gold ingots to get an oil drum which is uh, quite a lot of oil actually and i'm pretty sure we don't have that much gold no we don't we have 193 which is not anywhere near 256 so let's eat ourselves some of these cheeseburgers because it tastes just so delicious. And then let's go ahead and grab all the gold that we've got here. We can just do this. Do this. And that gets us those. Now, I would like to go ahead and break these down. Because if we throw them... if We, we could just throw these into a pulverizer right now. And, and get 64 gold, which would be nice. But what I can do is I can break it down like you've seen before. Uh, we can then get a little bit extra by breaking it into sand, a little bit extra more by breaking it into dust, and then triple it by throwing it into the high oven. So, I'm going to go ahead and break all this stuff down, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later, and we have ourselves a 258 
gold ingots, which I managed to completely turn down into dust. And I think we got, look at this, we got 65 more ingots just sat in there. We managed to turn it into about, I think, 50 gold ore dust here, which is kind of insane. So I'm going to throw this stuff away and we are going to see if this works. Can we manually submit? Nice. We got all of those in. We're going to get an oil drum and, these, and then either a portable oil extractor or an empty liquid canister. I'm going to take the liquid canister. There we go. We can get rid of you. We now have very, very little gold, but that's fine because we now have, if we throw this down somewhere like over here, 256,000 millibuckets of oil, which is kind of insane. So I think with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. We do have quite a bit of stuff now the aluminium's compressing nicely the steel is is doing the same we can throw in some more charcoal let that finish its thing up then we'll start compressing the steel we are gonna need a full another stack of this stuff though we need like at least two maybe even three stacks of steel because we need two stacks for the rocket and then just like a couple more just for everything else and, and then we'll start on the bronze and we'll compress all that up all that good stuff uh, i'll probably make a, a, a electric compressor between this episode and next and and just set it up over here connected to the power source and all that good stuff but uh, yeah without further ado thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video and you're enjoying the series thus far with one more episode to go uh, be sure to hit like thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye